Okay, so while that is in the oven baking, I am in the middle of cooking dinner. We are having um, chicken. I just put it into a pan with some butter, some tons of garlic powder, because we love garlic around here. Um, I do have fresh garlic, but I didn't feel like chopping that up. Um, some smoked paprika, <clears throat> some parsley, and some tomato paste. I um, put a tablespoon in a little freezer bag, put it in the freezer, do it uh, with the whole can because all recipes usually only call for one or two tablespoons and then you end up wasting the rest of the can. So I learned from ladies on YouTube to put it in the freezer. So that's what I do. Um, and I love making my chicken with tomato paste and so we're gonna have that and we're gonna have stuffing <clears throat> just stovetop stuffing mix <clears throat> um, and we're going to have corn um, that's pretty much it for dinner tonight um, <clears throat> sorry I feel like I have something in my throat anyway um, but I figure why that is baking why not put on some nails I need some I need to fix some of my nails. So, um, these are my real nails, but I need to file some. The ends got, um, I always like, to, I have a bad habit. I peel at my, like I pick at my nails, the ends. That's why they can never um, keep grown because I steady pick at my nails. I always have, so. Let me find what nails I'm going to put on. I believe I'm going to put these ones on. I love the glitter nails. These ones are called mm, Parallel Universe. I need to find my glass or I left my glasses in the car. Um, so have any of you ever had Color Street? Um, have you ever tried Color Street? Um, I have a friend who is a stylist and she introduced me to Color Street about two years ago. Um, I hosted a party for her on Facebook and um, I immediately fell in love with them because one, they are super easy. They are real. Uh, it is real nail polish. They're just dried up a little bit and made into strips. And it's so easy. You don't have to paint your nails and wait for them to dry. You can immediately do stuff right after. Um, they do smell a little, a little bit like the nail polish. So I am able to sit here um, in the same room with my husband and do my nails. Before, if I had to paint them, I did not. I was not able to because he he's very sensitive to smells and it's so funny because I am also a Scentsy consultant if you've looked at my other videos you would know that um, so he's very sensitive to um, I mean nail polish is very strong anyway but it doesn't bother me but I guess obviously it bothers some people and apologize for my son who is on the computer and I probably will do a voiceover on this um, so, um, anyway, let's just do the nails if I'm going to do a voiceover. So just in case I don't do the voiceover, each pack of nails comes with your strip of nails, two sets, one for each hand, a little mini nail file, and these are super cute. And I like to give these away for like prizes for parties and stuff. And then a little packet of, it's like an alcohol rub and it's to prep your nails because your nails need to be clean before you um, put the strips on. So you just go through, rub each nail and these can go on acrylic fake nails, um, real nails. You can put a um, top coat on top of them and all of that. So they're very, very simple. Um, but like I said, like I was saying, I do, I did fall in love with them. 
uh, two years ago when my friend introduced me to them when I hosted a party for her helping her out and I did earn some um, some hostess rewards so I was able to get a couple strips plus she had given me a couple sample little twosies um, like we have little like two packs for you to try um, try them out so and I decided this past November, I had seen that they were having a special where you got the whole kit that you normally would buy, plus you got five holiday, um, five holiday sets, which I gave away as presents because we don't celebrate Christmas. Um, but there was what I just took off was Festival of Lights, which I was very happy that they had a Hanukkah set in there. Um, but. They also include it, they include it in the kit now, the lips. So three lipsticks, three lip liners, a um, lip balm, and um, I, I believe that was it. So that was new in the kit too. And all of that was only $129. So I decided, hey, why not? If I don't sell it, I don't sell it. I like to wear them and I will get paid when I pay back for shopping for myself and I get all of this stuff in the kit that I can wear. So you see that there is two, four, six, eight. There's eight different nails on a set and that is because everybody's nail size is different and you can cut these down to make them fit your nail if you can't find one and they're too big. You can take like a smaller one and add it on the side of one of these ones if it doesn't cover your whole nail. Um, you're able to do anything you want with these. You can cut them and just do your tips, do like a little French manicure with these. Um, and uh, so you come, they come, it comes with two sets of eight nails. So what I always do is rip my nails, rip them apart. And I know exactly which ones are gonna fit which nails on me. So, I get them all ready. That's that one. This. But if you didn't know, let me show you what you would do. You take your nails, you take your nail strip, leave the plastic on top and the little white backing. Don't do anything with that yet. And just line it up and see if it's going to cover your whole nail, if it's going to fit onto your nail. Um, obviously doing it on camera is a little bit harder um, so you would just line them up and find the right sizes and lay them out according to the size that you need for that nail and do that with your whole hand now say I said that I know which ones are but I I mixed them all up so I'm having a hard time seeing which nail is which one. Let's do that one. We'll do that one. And then we'll do this one. Because I do have wider nail heads, which is not surprising. I, I am a bigger person. <clears throat> and another tip is do your thumbs last because we always work with our thumbs ripping off the ends of the nails you'll see um, i probably am going to speed up this video some um, so i probably will do a voiceover so that's the thumb my pointer So I'm going to start with my pinky nail and all you have to do is you would pull this plastic off the top, put the plastic over there if it doesn't stay stuck to your finger <laughs> and then you just pull on this silver tab and pull it, pull it up off of the backing 
and this is the nail strip and you see I'm able to handle it be careful not to fold it you don't want to fold it because it will stick to itself and then you just want to line it up onto your nail so I'm going to put the camera down you just want to line it up right and then smooth it down on the edges push down towards the front and then you can take it and you can pull it and bend it down bend it over the front and then you can just pull down and rip it and you can just leave it like this because at the end you'll use that little nail file that it came with and you can smooth out your edges um, and that will smooth out the ends of the nail polish. Let me see if this will fit onto my other pinky because sometimes you can only you can get one strip on the two nails. Sometimes. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it with this one because my pinky nail on this left hand was super long. Yeah, my nails are always Oh, no, I am able to do it. So I was able to get one strip onto two nails, so I will save this other pinky nail. Now they are saying they are one time use, like once you open this packet, these will, these extras will dry out, but I'm gonna show you a, tell you about a tip that I learned. Now Color Street does not back that tip, so there is no guarantee of it. Um, they don't recommend it, um, but I'll tell you it now. Um, you can take your leftover strips, you put them into a little Ziploc bag, and you put them in your freezer. And then when you go to use them, they will still be hydrated because these are real nail polish. So it does become dehydrated and they do dry out and they will not stick. Um, they will not stick at all. Other people have dipped them into um, nail polish remover real quick and then that makes them wet and put them on your nails. You do use regular nail polish remover to remove these. Um, they just take a couple more minutes to come off. You know, you just hold it on a cotton ball and hold it on there for like, I'd say 30 seconds, and then you're able to rub it off with the um, nail polish remover. But see, there's my two pinkies, and now I'm just gonna finish my nails. And it's gonna take me like really no time at all. And I don't have to worry about getting nail polish everywhere or all over my all over my fingers on the sides because I, I am very good at being messy <laughs> um, yeah I'm the, one of them kind of people I do make messes I'm not like super neat <sighs> super um, OCD nah I mean I don't like messes I don't like like messy dirty stuff but when you have three kids, and I don't know if it's just three sons, but you learn to live with certain, certain messes, or at least you get used to kind of certain messes. So there's my next two, my ring fingers. And like I said, see how this nail, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's got like a little bit of the nail strip down here. When I file that, that will go away. So that's pretty cool and this set I'm gonna have a lot left over which I do like because I like to do accent nails also this is probably be pretty over top of something too because it does kind of have a clear look to it put it over top of one of the solid nail strips and that would probably be very pretty too. And I'll show you on this one, I'm just, I just took it, I put it on here and I overlapped it to the front and I will leave it overlapped like that. And then I will file that extra off so I can show you that. Okay, and see we're already on our pointer finger. 
and I don't have to wait for anything to dry. So as soon as I'm done this, I will be able to go do the dishes. I will be able to go get a shower. I'll be able to finish cooking my dinner. I would be able to do a bunch of stuff that I would not be able to do if this was nail polish. Like if this, it is nail polish, but if I was actually painting my nails, not using the Color Street nail strips. Um, I do enjoy, I do enjoy um, this kind of work. Like I said, I like, I like people. <laughs> I, I like helping people. I like customer service kind of um, stuff. A lot of people don't really like that kind of stuff, but I do. I mean, all of most, all of my jobs growing up have all been in customer service and I just enjoy seeing all the different people even the ones that, you know, are not very happy with you or, you know, are just grumpy themselves. It just gives you um, some, you know, lets you know what kind of people are out there. And I enjoy, I try to make everybody smile. Um, this one, you see, I left on the end too, because I'm going to file it. And now I just have my thumbs left. How exciting is that? That took not any time at all really um, <clears throat> I don't have any top coat but um, that's okay because I like to change up my my nails very frequently maybe every two weeks sorry about that he's playing online with his friends and they must be playing something that scared him. <laughs> so, um, so if anybody is interested and wants to get any color street or wants to know more, just comment down below. I will have my um, website address in the description box below for my color street and my Sensi. Um, but yeah. If you want to know any more about it, please let me know. I'm going to get my file block again. This also came with my kit. I got two of these. Um, so I will just file the ends of my nails to get any of the extra strip off. And see what I'm talking about? See how it just took that end of the strip off? And so now it's just perfectly on to my nail. It's the file. How do you guys file your nails? Do you move the file or do you move your finger? I've always, whenever I file my nails, I've always just moved my finger. I find it so much easier that way. But I do see when you go to get your nails done, they move the file. I don't get my nails done. I don't wear fake nails. I have, you know, in my younger years. Um, nothing wrong with wearing fake nails or going and getting your nails done. I just don't prefer them. I like my regular shorter kind of nails. Um, so yeah. What about you guys? Do you like to get your nails done? Let me know in the comments below. And then I will just go and wash my nails and get the rest of this out from underneath my nails. I will wash my hands and then they will be all done.